Welcome to Soto Creations, where we make your imagination a reality. I'm jumping right into the tutorial by unboxing my circular metal backdrop. You've seen this before. I have two in, in my inventory. This white one is six inches and my gold one is seven point something inches sorry feet so i'm putting it together the easiest way i found to do it is by connecting everything and then pushing it the very last piece against either my couch or my baseboard to get that to click and then attaching the legs you already know when i'm doing these uh backdrop ideas at home i don't bother putting my water weights and putting that on the base because it's just easier this way and the kids don't get to the water weights and all that so if it was my install for an event for an occasion then i would do everything to keep my backdrop nice and secure and stable so we're working with some beautiful colors today um, I already attached my Happy Mother's Day sign on the back. I posted a video just yesterday showing you how I made that sign. Most signs that you find are rectangular and easier to make. So I did the video on that Happy Mother's Day just to share with you guys how you can make a round sign. It's mounted on a foam board and i had to do it myself because i found that most print shops do not cut out the circles for you on a foam board so that video i'll have it linked in the description so if you want to make your own sign of course i designed everything myself on canva you can do that as well i also attach some fishing line to get the design all in place sorry i couldn't show that part i thought i was recording but it wasn't but in the video for the sign i show you exactly how i attached the fishing line to the sign so it's just easy to wrap it onto the metal pole and you're good to go i'll make adjustments on it as i put the balloons of course because it's not going to stay quite in place before I continue, this video is dedicated to all the moms and I want to wish you a happy Mother's Day. Moms and mom figure in everybody's life. Of course, I'll talk about that throughout the video as I'm going through this tutorial. You've seen me create these organic backdrops in the past. I I'm compressing the balloons and creating clusters of six balloons with 17 inches and 11 inches. Today I'm using all Tuftex balloons. We have Pixie and Aloha. The Pixie is that pink. The Aloha is the kind of peach looking balloon or apricot looking balloon. I'm only using two colors today. I found these colors absolutely beautiful and I thought it would be fitting for this backdrop. Of course, my sign is also linked with these balloons to make it all tie in together. I've been planning this for a while, so I'll talk to you whether or not I accomplished everything I wanted to as the video goes on. Now I'm connecting each of the balloons by alternating colors primarily just to create my base of the garland so I'm wrapping that around the arch so that it's all alternated and we'll work our way all around the balloon forgot to mention that sign is 20 inches in diameter but when you're designing, of course, you can do it as big as you need it to be for your design. So we're just creating, attaching pairs and then linking that to the backdrop. Another thing you can do is just connect your full garland and then wrap it around. But I find that it's harder to manage a longer garland. So I just did pair, pairs of the clusters and you want to push them 
tight enough so they fit they're not going to go anywhere. You'll see the backdrop move and that's mainly because it's not steady on the floor. I don't have the weights on so it kind of moves a little bit. But I'm not working as I would to for an event because I know I'm home just designing this. This was, I was going to install this at a friend's house for our moms of multiple group but we had severe storms and had to cancel our dinner but because i had already planned to record this for you guys i still went ahead and did it because i figured i need to get something special out for moms so that is what we're doing again i mentioned that i'm working with 17 inches 11 inches 5 inches these are all tough text brand balloons and the colors are pixie and aloha well when i think of mother's day i get pretty emotional because i feel so blessed that i have four beautiful children i always reflect on the process of how i got here and i have to pinch myself most of you if you've been watching this channel you've seen my kids before i continue i'm tying the two necks i pull two necks out of that one cluster and i'm tying it to the bottom of the metal backdrop so that white pole i just tie it to the bottom for that bottom balloon so that it doesn't come off because I cannot wrap it around since the base of the balloon it would lift up my whole backdrop and probably fall over so you want to just tie the necks onto it to keep it in place because the garland I'm wanting to create a fuller look kind of like a balloon wall with a hole in the middle for my sign I'm creating a second garland here with the same colors that I'm going to put as a second ring inside this first ring we already created. Back to my story. If you don't know me, I'm a mom of four. I have four kids, two boys, two girls, girl, boy, boy, girl. That's the order. Uh, my oldest is 10. Middle child is seven going to be seven end of june and the twins are going to be three end of sorry beginning june as um beginning of june but i'm so blessed when i think of the journey i'm so excited every day and i went through the full thing if you've been watching my channel for some time You've seen my kids pop into the videos, especially the twins. They love playing with the balloons and bouncing them around as I do the tutorials. So I know the things moms go through. And honestly, some days I don't feel worthy, but I thank God for the blessing. In 2020, when I found out I was having twins, it was a very interesting story i'll have to tell you guys that story another day but in our culture when you have twins you're given a name a new name not changing your name but you're giving and given an additional name and a lot of african countries have the name in the different languages so for us we call you a ma you, we call you money so my name is Jufo, so now most of my family members would say Mane. In simple terms, Mane means a lady who has twins. So they just call me Mane Jufo to be specific because we have other moms who have twins. So if your name is Tina and you have twins, they'll call you Mane Tina. So I feel blessed to have a new name. I'm not 100% um I, i'm not fully i'm still in awe of the fact that 
that is a new name given it's such an honor for me and i'm very humbled by that the guys usually get tane and the women get mane so if you're the father of twins you get tane but of course we're not talking about dads today <laughs> we'll come to that in a dad video but i went through different phases of pregnancy with all four kids i've had c-section i've had a natural birth and i've had epidural so if you need any tips on those just let me know i have experience on all three so i'm so so blessed by that i'm using fishing line here to wrap my middle garland to the outer garland so what i do is wrap it around the middle garland and then move it around the outer garland to attach it to the outer garland it's not long enough so i'm inflating some more balloons that i'm going to attach to that to just complete the circle then i'll make adjustments on my sign and we will be all good the biggest thing I've been thinking about this Mother's Day is giving myself grace. And I want to share that with you guys as well. That as moms, sometimes we can think that we're not enough or we're not worthy or we're not good enough and doubt ourselves. But I want you to take time to give yourself grace in whatever phase you are. I know it's a challenge. Each age is a challenge. Each child is different. And you just have to accept yourself and take time sometimes for yourself as well where to give yourself rest, give yourself a little pampering, whatever you need to reset very very important i'm making adjustments to the balloons because i looking at it it does it did not look as round as i wanted it to look so i had to adjust it and you've heard me say before once you put it you can always twist them around and adjust now i'm creating some extra balloons to fill in some of those gaps these are the 17 inch balloons just tying single balloons and I'm going to create some filler balloons as well in with the five inches. So with the five inches, I create four balloons that I'm going to use, tie a 260, half a 260Q to the five inch filler balloon and then the other end to one of those round balloons. Do these round balloons remind anybody of bubble gum? When I look at these colors, especially inflating those single ones, I, it just reminds me of bubble gum. Anyway, I would create the filler balloons and it will allow me to put, You can, if you look at the backdrop, you'll see some holes. So I'm going to fill those holes with those five inch clusters and also the single balloons. So that's the plan now i really wanted to share this word of blessing with you guys that i wrote down so i'm just gonna read it for you guys last year i did blessings for moms so if you haven't seen that video i'll link that as well if you're interested it just gives a lot of blessings prayers for moms throughout me designing doing a flower tutorial so i'm cutting those 260 cues in half to attach one end to the big balloon and the other end to my filler cluster and that's what i'll use to wrap around the balloons to fill up those holes so for this mother's day i pray that you will be blessed beyond measure may you always find joy in the journey of motherhood because it's a journey it changes as your kids age may you keep your eyes on the one and only helper who is god may you remember to enjoy 
enjoy the journey okay take time to laugh and enjoy give yourself grace when you don't meet your own standards and you should know that you are always loved you're always loved and you deserve unconditional love so may you be blessed and blessed and blessed we're filling our garland and I'll be wrapping up here for the day I did this in two parts so you kind of see I'm using rubber bands to attach the rest of the five inch fillers onto the backdrop so I'll let you enjoy the rest of the video that's all I had for you today in terms of all the blessings and happy Mother's Day let me know in the comments what you did for Mother's Day or what you got what kind of crafts your kids made or what exactly you did for Mother's Day and don't forget to subscribe like the video and share I appreciate all of you guys for your support and for watching the videos and commenting and asking very good questions in the comments so thank you so much good morning well I have some bad news my plan is not gonna go as I wanted because I went to Sam's to get the finishing touches for this backdrop and they're completely out of baby's breath. I just knew that baby's breath would give it the fine, beautiful, soft, elegant look. I did not want too much florals all around it because there is already a lot of color going on on the backdrop. So I wanted just that touch of baby's breath. So what we're going to do is still put white flowers but I'm going to see how that looks. Hopefully after Mother's Day, Mother's Day is tomorrow. Hopefully after Mother's Day, we can get it and still put it on. The balloon should still be good and I'll put it and just take a picture and post it on my page so that you guys can see what it looks like with the baby's breath, the original plant. So I have some white flowers here, carnations, I think hydrangeas and some roses. So I'll put that on and show, I'll show you the final look. All right.